When we set new pumps, we always tell our clients don't use two ply toilet paper and that is why. So when it comes time to replace this pump, make sure you read that tag and do what it says. So we're gonna go ahead and get our uh, adapter primed and glued up onto our discharge and thread it down in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and do what that tag says and bore a 3 16 hole in the discharge to prevent airlock. The next thing I'm gonna do, which is a little hard to see, is take a zip tie and tie the electrical cord around the discharge so it cannot get hung up in the float. So this next part of the job is a little nasty, but we're gonna have to get the side of this can cleaned off. So when we set the new pump in there, there will be nothing preventing that float from raising up and telling that pump to come on when the water level rises inside of the can.